Right, so if uh, we need to take the cover off because we've got uh, constant error or error code five coming back, that could well be caused because somehow you're getting air into your system. So the way to do that basically is to take the cover off. So it's a bit of a pain. Uh, there's quite, if you just follow around the bottom, around the sides and over the top, there's little small screws. So they need, actually there's none down the side. They're all down the bottom, along the front and then along the back at the top, little screws, they need taking off. And then it's pretty simple to lift off. Make sure you've got a table or something somewhere that you can put the lid on. It is on quite a long cable, but, so I've hung this to do it, but, so if you take the lid off like that, it is on quite a long cable anyway, look, see the white cable, so it can come quite a distance. But if you make sure you've got a table or something, it'd be much easier for you. So I'm just gonna stick this on here. We we use that to hang the lid off. So um, what we're going to do, you've already powered it off, so that's fine. Um, what, what we're going to recommend you do, uh, that will clear the, the memory. Um, what we're looking for is for, first of all, is for this valve here to be loosened. So if you look there, it's got a, it's a little valve with a little hole in it, and it's on the top of a, well, it's, it, you can't really miss it, it's there. And it's got a cap on it. Now that cap, be very careful because if you drop it, it's a real pain. But that cap, you can loosen off. The cap actually has a little air bleed hole in it. I don't know if you can see that. So at the moment, that may be too tight. What we need is for that to be loosened off so it's nice and loose. Just back on a half a turn or a couple of turns so that's loose. So then all we're going to do, and you can actually leave the lid off to do this. We're going to power the system back on. So put the mains power back on. As we've said, you need that symbol showing so that this screen will light up um, and then just press and hold the on button until that symbol shows and then it's back on. Okay. What I'd like you to do then, please, is go, as we've done before, um, go to the A, I'll oh, take the lock off, sorry. Go to the AO numbers and go down to one of the error code numbers. Uh, go down to one of the error code numbers like that and then I want you to delete all the error codes. So if you remember how you do that, just press and hold those two for about 15 seconds and then it'll bleep, there you go, it's deleted them, but mine, mine doesn't have any error codes on. Okay, and then press that button to come back to the beginning. Now this may well kick in and fire up. As soon as that pump is running, which is that symbol up there, you may well start to hear a bit of air coming out of that there and that's what we're interested in is is air coming out of that and then the system will kick in and it'll all fire up it'll sound really noisy with the cover off uh, but just allow it to keep going allow it to keep run till that air goes if you want to get rid of the noise all i suggest you do is tuck the loose cable in um, and then you can put the cover back on so round one that's what we're going to have a go at seeing if by loosening that off that may have been over time if you loosen that off just see if we can bleed a bit of air out and then the system will be run if it's got air in it uh, if not there's another way of checking if there's air in it what that will be to do is again just allow the system to run so the pump is on and running and then you can just crack that there just crack it quarter of a turn and water will start dribbling out and then you just tighten it back up but it could be that water's got the air has got stuck in there as well so that's another really simple option to to, to check um, and then when you want to if you want to power it off to put the lid on that's fine if not you don't but again just to put the lid on it, it slides in under this housing here there's a return on there slides in under there what i do is i tuck the extra in or maybe just get someone to help you a little bit and then you take the lid off like that i just like I say i just tuck any extra in like that as much as possible and then i just slide it in so i go from the bottom up till you feel it in in the right place there and then just slide it forward look i've got that dangling out so i'm just going to push it in and then just push it in you go to the sides make sure it's all tucked in nice and in like that and then you put the lid back on and that's it you'll hear a massive noise difference so that's what we can try